Hey, what's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Yesterday I was walking around Best Buy as I like to do and just look at all electronics and I wandered into the video game section and there was a mother there with probably her seven or eight year old son and all this kid was asking for was for an Xbox. He kept saying, Mom, please can I have an Xbox? Please can I have an Xbox? Please can I have an Xbox? And she just kept saying no. And I know this sounds sort of like a contrived story, but it really did happen. So I sort of got to thinking, do video games need a defense? You know, what were the mother's reasons for saying no to playing video games? As opposed to the kid asking for a movie, or a Lego set, or any other hobby. Why is it that video games have become so stigmatized? We've all heard it since we were little, and if you're growing up now, you've probably hear this on a regular basis. Video games rot your mind. Video games will make you violent, or violent video games will make you violent. Video games will make you dumb, do something better with your time. And a lot of people out there game. The gaming industry is growing on a daily basis, and video games are having almost feature film-like premieres. So the industry is experiencing growth despite this stigma associated with it. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it and sort of ask your opinions and hear what you have to say. So what do you think? Do video games need a defense? If I had a long day at work or I'm tired and I want to sit down and play some Halo Wars with a buddy, do I need to justify that to myself or to anybody? If someone asks what I did today and I spent four hours playing video games, do I need to have a defense for that. What if I had spent four hours watching a movie? Or what if I had spent two hours building Lego blocks? Or I had spent two hours building a birdhouse? Or two hours writing or doing some other endeavor? Why do video games need that special defense? Why do you have to justify it? So, I played video games today, but I got all my work done before I did it. You know, why do you think that happened? Video games have evolved from sort of the real, <laughs> real rudimentary graphics of Pong to some of the real hardcore 3D rendering that now you find in the Xbox and PlayStation and the motion controls like you'll find in the Wii and in the PlayStation 3. It's very interesting to see the evolution, but that stigma still hasn't changed. So what do you guys think? Do video games need a defense? Do you feel the need to justify playing video games to your friends, family, significant other, so that spouse, a girlfriend, or whatever? You know, do you feel the need to do that? I thought that I would ask you. Personally, I think that video games don't need a defense. I think it's a worthwhile endeavor. I think it can, as a hobby at least, and done in a timely and appropriate fashion. Certainly spending all day, every day playing a video game is not going to benefit you or anyone. But using it in moderation, like you would any hobby, I think is particularly reasonable. I think it can improve hand-eye coordination. I think it can give you an appreciation, too, for some of the graphic work that goes into it. I play a game even if I don't like the game. I appreciate the hours and months and probably years that went into developing a game. And the industry employs so many people that it's very interesting to hear, a, I guess, an industry be so stigmatized. So, guys, what do you think? In defense of video games, do they need it or don't need it? Leave your comments or a video response to this. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say. If you were the mother of that kid, and the kid was a good kid, not in trouble or anything bad, would you have bought him an Xbox? I probably would have. Anyway, guys, for exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash john lakers And if you want to learn more about Techno Buffalo, hit up twitter.com slash techno buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.